This video will describe how to perform a firmware download in a module EM7565 using the Linux SDK. First, go to the website source.sierrawireless.com to download what you need. In the section titled Devices, go to Air Prime, then select EM Series, followed by selecting EM7565. You will find a link in the section titled Software Download Area for Linux SDK. When you click it, you come to this page. Here, when you click on Download, you gain access to the latest SDK. It's also convenient to download the Application Developer's Guide and keep it on your desktop for easy reference. Now come back to the Software Download Area again and select Firmware. You will come to this page and find the firmware you want to download which includes generic firmware and Linux binaries. The two generic files are version 111 and version 10804. When you click on Download, the two files will be downloaded. Now coming back to the Linux terminal, in Desktop, you have the SDK downloaded, version 40020. Also, in Desktop, you will see the firmware 10804. In this folder, you have two files. The first file has the extension CWE, while the second file has the extension NVU. Out of these two file extensions, the CWE is a firmware image, while NVU is a PRI configuration. Click on Desktop again and select the SDK folder named version 40020. Once this folder opens, you will find the Application Developer's Guide. What you see here is the structure of the SDK with a few folders. Now click on Build. When it opens up, you will find two folders, bin and lib. Select bin. Inside the folder titled bin, you will find more subfolders. From there, you have to choose one folder based on the type of machine that you have. For this walkthrough, we have selected x8664. In the terminal, you can find the machine you have by typing uname i. Here, it returns the name x8664. Now come back to the bin folder and select the subfolder x8664. You will find three process files inside the folder. The SLQ SSDK is the process you need to run. Now select version 40020. When it opens, select sample apps. When the Sample Apps folder opens, you will find a number of applications, which are already pre-compiled for you. At this stage, you will need to use the Firmware Download application, so click on it. When it opens, select the folder name Binary. Inside, you will find all the pre-compiled files. For this walkthrough, x8664 will be used. Please remember that, when you download SDK, these files are not executable so you have to make them executable. To do that, right-click on x8664 and select Properties. When the Properties terminal opens, select Permissions. Then click on Execute to make the files executable. You have to do it from this terminal if it's not done by default. Close the Properties terminal and then go to the Application Developer's Guide. In the PDF, Go to the section called One Command Line Firmware Downloader Sample Application, which describes how to use this firmware download sample. Here you will find the commands that you need to learn and choose the type of module. In our case, the module is EM7565, which uses a 9x50 chipset, so you will have to choose this one. Now go to the terminal which is opened. Go to the folder where you need to execute the firmware download application. This is in the Sample Apps firmware download. Now you have to run this application and some parameters as explained in the application guide. You will also find the SLQ SSDK process, which you need to run as well. You will also see the type of chipset that has been used. This is also the folder where the application will find the firmware image. You will now have to run this. The application will start detecting the USB, the communication with the target, and switching to download mode. You will then establish a contact with the firmware download itself. 
it will show done. The firmware download may take several minutes, but if you already have the image in your module, it might take less time. Each module can store up to four firmware images. If the image is already there, it will take just a few seconds. As you can see, the firmware download is a success. Here the module will move to the firmware 10804. Then you will execute the same command and move it to the firmware 011100. This is just a firmware upgrade again with the same application, but it only took a couple of seconds to download the firmware because the firmware image was already present in the module. This helps expedite the download process. Now that the firmware is downloaded successfully, let's go and see the Minicom in this particular module. Issuing the ATI command, we see the current firmware 0111. Now if we issue the command AT image question mark, you will see the four images stored. Out of these four, the one which is in use is 111, while the other one is 10804, which was loading before. Now when you move from another, it will be very quick. This is the basic way to do the firmware download. There are many other sample apps which you can use with the SDK. You can also go through the application developer's guide and look for the sample you want to play with. This brings us to the end of the walkthrough on how to upgrade EM7565 using the Sierra Linux SDK. For queries or questions, please contact your local FAE.